So today we're going to talk about seam rippers because in case you ever make a mistake, this will save your entire project if you use it right. So I got mine from Joann's and you could really get them at almost all craft stores and big box stores that have sewing sections. Mine has a cap, which I highly recommend because some that you buy won't have one and you risk putting a hole in everything then especially when you're traveling and you put everything in a little bag. So this one, you wanna always make sure that it has a point. The middle is gonna be the sharp sharpness that you want. You don't ever want a dull seam ripper. So you may have to get a couple. And this, the little ball on it, is for when we're gonna separate two pieces of fabric. So when cross stitching and embroidery, we're not gonna to have to really worry about that. So we're gonna take our project and in case you have a stitch that doesn't look right or you did the wrong color you can always fix it so you want to be very careful put it in between and just slice it like that and you want to go very slowly you want to take your time because if you cut the wrong one there's no going back and you also don't want to cut your Ada or your fabric, which these are very sharp little tools, so there's always a possibility. And you can just see how it cuts both sides. So we'll just pull that out. And we'll keep going until all of these are done. And when we're sewing, it's, it's they have a couple of different techniques that you can do, but cross stitching really, you're gonna just do it this way and pull out the little excess and there you go. You have a clean slate to start with. Just pull the little extras off the back. And you can also use a piece of tape and go like that and like that with the tape and that'll really pull off all the extra little threads. And that's how you use your seam ripper.